I'm Wendy Rieger from the beautiful girl from Ipanema Beach in Rio, and I'm not alone. Look who I found here, the Pat Collins snow stick. It's as sick of the snow as you are. It came down for some R&R, right? What? Oh, it says it's finding some other things to measure here. <laughs> See what we mean, folks? A sense of humor and a sense of adventure, too. Those are two of the qualities we will miss most in our friend Wendy. Yeah, as we celebrate her life, we've been speaking with her friends and colleagues and joining us here right now in the studio, Pat Collins. She was busting your chops. Uh, taking How did she noise. get that snow <laughs> all the way to Rio? <laughs> and only Wendy could say... I have other things to measure <laughs> on windy. TV with that mischievous uh -huh. smile she had. And get away with it. Exactly. She got, she got away with a lot, of, uh, office, a lot right? of uh, unpredictable things, didn't yeah, she? Yeah. She was wonderful. You know, I think of her more, though, as our poet laureate. Mm -hmm. When our life started to go sideways, when we were held captive for what seemed like years by COVID, when there was trouble in the streets, we turned to Wendy. And Wendy the wordsmith would get to work. She'd write a story and then tell a story from her heart. And all of a sudden, peace would sort of descend over all of us. Yeah. And we learned, hey, it's okay. Wendy said, it's okay. And whenever there was trouble, when we needed that voice, Wendy was there. And boy, could she tell a story. It was a bomb, and we're going to hear more. It was a bomb to very trying times for the world that she could put words to it and make us all feel better. Indeed. Uh, Indeed. Let me ask you, you, you I asked you right before, because uh, numbers these days are all over the place. D.C. native, of course, but you started in the business back in 1973. When Wendy came through these doors as a cub reporter, she held her own from the get-go. What did you notice? Did you notice anything that she has this star quality that's going to live on forever? Well, she was feisty. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, on the street, she would go out and she'd grab a story by the collar and she wouldn't let go until she got every little detail. But she had a way of telling the story mm -hmm. that, that is from the heart. It was impactful. Mm -hmm. It made a difference. Well, we, we all we all admired and, and envied her uh, her writing talent. She, she the woman could turn a phrase. And I, I think I think part of that comes from uh, her starting out in radio. Because, well, because you have to create word pictures right, in radio. Exactly. And, and she really learned how to write and write to television. And then, you know, after work, at the bar, at the <laughs> I mean, everybody wants, oh, there, is Wendy going to oh, be there? I love it. I mean, oh. she was the life of the party. Uh -huh. We need to frame the that. The life yeah, that. of the party. And, you know. Uh, she stole your hat and your snow <laughs> stick. That's and, yeah, just rude. I know. I feel sort of <laughs> naked in front of the world now. But, uh, you know, the, party, the party's not over. But it's not going to be the same without no. Wendy. It's just not. No, our newsroom is already, since she retired uh, last December, our newsroom has been a lot more sedate, I exactly. would say. Yes, I'd say so, too. We've more got pictures pic up there and yeah. some bunting. But let me ask you, she showed the snow stick. You're known for covering storms and, and everything else. But she could also cover a storm in a different season, the hurricanes. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't look away from the TV. Oh, no. When she was on TV, it, it was like magnified. You had to listen to Wendy's every word. And when she was on live, and she was always on live, you never knew what she was going to say next. <laughs> Yeah, that was her secret. I mean, she compared a storm to one of her boyfriends. Uh, right? She talked about, note to self, wear uh, uh, rainproof Waterproof mascara. mascara. Uh -huh. I mean, you didn't know what was going to happen. The heck with the storm. Everybody had reporters at the storm. But we had Wendy Rieger, and that was a big difference. Oh, you said it. Well, she always called you Patrick, so we will thank you, Patrick, <laughs> for coming in this morning and sharing your memories with her because we know how much she loved you. Happy to be here. Yeah. Happy to be here. Going to miss her. Thank All you, right. Pat.